come together The best from all the league To show them how to play And form a mighty team the Welcome back and today with us, we have a very special guest from Anarchy, my home club. Now, I've got to get this right. Jess Jeruso. Jeruso, did I get it? Yeah, you did. Oh, good morning, Jess. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I get nervous with all these names. It's just unbelievable. But thanks for giving me the tip at the start. Um, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming so early from Werribee, because you live in Werribee. Yes. 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 So thanks for that. Okay. And they're going to go back to Anarchy and play the game too today. Yes. Yes. Hope this doesn't hail. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Now, tell us, um, your season so far, up and down a bit. You've had great mm. games, you've had bad games. Great games, bad games. Sometimes you find a medium, other times you don't. Tell us about it. Like, like tell us about what happens in the team. Like, you know what I mean? You, yeah. I think um, it's basically just positioning our coach. I mean, this is really just going to be a um, learning season for us. Coming into this, I don't think we really, we didn't realise how good this competition really was. So it kind of did blow us away a bit. Um, and that's funny you say that, Jess, because I did say to Liz at the start when we interviewed her for the job, Oh yeah, did it, and it was like I oh, don't underestimate this competition, Liz. <laughs> no, yeah. it, it, it's very physical. It's a good competition, mm, really good competition, is. good hard competition. Um, but I mean, coming into this season, we had a team coming in, um, and before the season started, we lost about four of those players. Yeah. So then we were just recruiting mm. and then trying to find positioning on the court for yeah. all the players. Yeah. yeah. So Jess, um, this is your first year at Anarchy? Yes. Yep. So what position do you play? Uh, wing defence, wing attack. Yep, yep. And you did just mention that you had a, a few more players lined up to come come with you this year to <laughs> Anarchy. Um, what do you think you need to do as a club? Obviously, you committed to the club for a couple of years. Is yes. that That's yes. right. So looking forward to next year, because obviously we've still got six rounds left. Still got six rounds left. But um, I suppose you would now be looking with the coaching staff to look at what changes or what improvements you're going to make for next year. Yeah. So what do you think the, the club needs coming into next season? Um, well, depending on if the girls are sticking around, um, I think they will be. Um, but probably, I think, as I said, like it's a learning curve for us. It's yep. learning position. So I think going forward into next season, we should be a bit more settled. Um, now that we know what the comp competition's like, we may recruit a few more, um, but yeah, mm. it's a learning it, curve. It's just, definitely yeah. a learning curve. Yeah. yeah. So watching, I went out and watched you when you played Bell Post Hill. I was there stalking the sidelines with Donna. <laughs> She's a stalker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I did notice that. Um, obviously, you've got two tall. So you've got a really tall um, yes. goal goalkeeper and a goal shooter, and I sort of would call them <clears throat> the bookends to your team. Yeah. I did notice though that I felt that. Um, one of the, the comments that I did make to Donna when her comeback was around Celeste and her not starting on the court. That was something that I thought she'd be always one of your strongest centre court players. She actually started on that day, didn't she, Jess? She started yeah, on great. that day, yep, yeah. That's great, yep. great, great to see. Yep. And sort of felt that the centre court probably needed a bit more strength in it as well as a, a key goal attack. Would that be your understanding to the sort of changes you need to look at for next year? Um, I think with our goal attack this year, I mean, with all mm -hmm. the changes, I mean, she had to change her goal shooter because yep. coming into this season we actually had a goal shooter that the goal attack Rianne was playing with so yep. it was adjusting to her. Uh, with Celeste she normally does start on court every week um, so it was probably just that week she didn't that start on the court. That, yeah. week, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad week. <laughs> but yeah no she normally does start on yep. the court and yep. she is really strong in our mid-court. Yeah, she, she works yep. that ball down the court really well. Um, but you, you do have a discipline like, <coughs> like I do, Liz and I you don't train Amanda, you know, look, at all these are discipline reasons, yeah. you do start on the bench. Okay. So, yeah. and I think, you know, maybe it's less than that, a couple of those too. Okay. So, yeah. in saying that, we both adopt that policy yeah. and maybe that's why too. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Fresh. Um, yeah, just wanted to say that you know you guys are doing well this season. It's not you know you might have only won a couple of games, but your your margins aren't blowouts, which, no. which is a good it's thing, good. and you, you seem to be improving. But with all your players, I noticed that you have some that play in B grade, some that play in A grade as well. The same day, do you have versatility in your teams, um, especially with your A grade? Uh, not really. There really is only one person or a couple of people throughout the season that have actually played in B grade and A grade. Mm -hmm. um, one of them was Nellie. Yep. Um, she, the last two weeks, she was playing uh, A grade and B grade. 
Um, where where is she from, Jess? Did she she's from Werribee. Werribee? Yeah. yeah. Um, Celeste has now recruited her for her Tuesday mm. night. Oh, well, there yeah, you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she is from Werribee. Okay. So she's the only player that we've really had. Um, two of the A graders have gone down into B grade right. um, to help them out a bit mm -hmm. because they've had a lot of changes also. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's our team's normally the same team every week. Um, is, Nelly, is, she, is she young, Jess? How old she is. She? is um, I think she's around a 20, maybe 21, 22. Yeah, she's younger. Okay. Yeah, and she's and a very she's, strong player. She's a defender and attack. She's or? a defender and a shooter. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> her, her, her best position is defender. She likes defending. She's pretty more gutsy, than, isn't she? She's, she's pretty very gun -ho. strong. Yeah. yeah. She holds her ground. Which yeah. is great. And in yeah. a competition like that, you, you do need your strength, and you know. And she's, yeah, she's amazing. I sort of watched her on set and I thought, oh, who's this player? So, <laughs> so yeah, she's, I think she's going to be a big benefit for you guys. Yeah, well, I don't know going forward whether she will be yep. in um, A grade. Yep. Um, she may be here and there in B grade, but um, as A grade, she's, her fitness isn't up to it. Um, I think that's a lot of grades, Jess, just, just so. quietly girls. Yes. Of <laughs> yes. So I suppose, like, as, as Alicia said, you girls have had a really good year, you know, from where you started from the the end of last season to now. It's yep. been, there's been a lot of growth and development for Anarchy and, you know, have won a lot more games. And we were only just saying last week, I think, that um, it's probably the highest you've, Anarchy have been on the ladder for, for quite a period of time, you know, maybe three, four or five seasons. So it's a, it's a good effort. So congratulations on that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, and um, I must say, too, you Werribee girls are great with the functions. It's good. <laughs> Turn up and they support the functions, all of them. <laughs> really good. I think you keep the bar in tap, that's for sure, Jess. <laughs> oh, I think we do, really. <laughs> With water, of course, Jess. Oh, no alcohol at all. Oh, no, you're, you're great in that respect. And, and I think it comes with your, your husbands and boyfriends and everything because you pull all them out and he's a big supporters of the club and it's such a good it's such a good look it really is and we're thankful for that we really are <laughs> it's important um, part to being part of the club absolutely too, yeah. absolutely it is so we've got Bannock Burn today Jess how do you think we'll go uh, well last time we played him it was actually quite physical um, but I think yeah I think it'll be a good challenge yeah like Thompson I mean we had a really bad game last week but I don't know we gave it to Thompson so yep, we yeah. lost by four so the Perfect. thing is, yeah. you know you've got it. You know you can give yeah, it to exactly. any team and yeah. good luck today. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Go, go and get warmed up and get your dress on and get organised because Liz will be looking for you. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> and I'll see you out there. Thank okay. you. Thanks. We're going to be back well, after the break. The all the lead, to show them how to play and form a mighty team. The pride of our region with all our favourite sons.